Hi everyone! Welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. Today I'm going to use The Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and Messages from Your Animal Spirit Guides by Stephen D. Farmer. And we'll start with the Romance Angels first today. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and start with these right now. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, whether you're already in a relationship or whether you're single, it is seems like this is telling us that, you know, it's a good idea to uh, make the first move and uh, express your love. And really, uh, once you have realized what you're feeling, it's kind of um, usually already kind of felt by the other person. So it's, uh, there's no need to worry or be fearful about expressing that because you know it's safe once you guys are already feeling that so yeah attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully yes being in the moment really uh, allows you to attract whatever it is that you are feeling really. So if you're looking for love, then just uh, loving yourself and being, you know, fully enjoying every moment, uh, not really looking for love, uh, just, you know, noticing the flowers, smelling the roses, uh, going on a walk and just looking around at the sky and the trees and everything will really actually, uh, actually be more attractive than you know putting yourself out there in another way also if you're looking you know to attract opportunities to you just enjoying every little task that you're doing uh, you know having set tasks already before you like enjoying those tasks to the full extent will actually attract more opportunities to you so yeah Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, it's really telling us to uh, be open and uh, don't be afraid to express how you feel. Uh, the society definitely, you know, makes us feel like we can't do that. But it's really, you know, what we're meant to do is to express ourselves and to really you know, be able to express our emotions too. So really it's for the best to do that. Even, even if you get rejected, it's at least you put yourself out there and at least you're open. And you know, that, that's actually a way to know too, if that person was right for you. So even if it, you know, ends up backfiring, it actually is for your highest good so that you can move on and find someone who will be open with you and you'll find a deeper bond that way. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. It's kind of funny. These cards are like dit dit and dit dit. So yeah, just being positive about your love life and uh, feeling good about yourself too. Don't worry too much, you know, about, you know, like, don't focus so much on, oh, I'll never find someone or, you know, or I'm going to be single forever, blah, blah, blah. Don't try not to, you know, think those thoughts. Try to be like, you know, maybe someday I'll find someone when it's right for me. But until then, I'm going to enjoy myself and love myself. <laughs> and, you know, it doesn't, you know, feeling good about yourself doesn't have to be dependent on another person. You, you know, feeling good about yourself is completely up to you. So 
yeah and when you feel good about yourself you'll just automatically attract someone that's you know feels good about you too <laughs> so yeah all right let's look at what the animal spirit guides want to say about this week Okay, so, Ladybug, this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all good things in your life. Now, whenever I uh, pick up this card, I always think of gratitude, because when you're grateful for what you already have, then the universe will want to, you know, bring you more of that. So and being gracious about receiving as well. So, you know, you know, whether it's a compliment or whatever, usually when we receive a compliment, it, you know, we always get a little bashful and don't accept it fully, but accepting it fully helps you to just receive more good and more compliments as an example. But be grateful for all you receive and uh, grief be grateful for everything that you already do have and more will come to you. So, yeah. And just realizing where you're already at and being grateful for how far you've already come. Seagull, now is the time for deep emotional healing. So this has definitely been a theme lately. Um, being open with your emotions actually promotes more healing. So whether that's just on your own, like, you know, being open with yourself and really feeling those feelings or expressing it to somebody else. And that could even be a friend or it could be a romantic lover. But basically expressing your emotions helps you uh, reveal those emotions, which really helps the healing process. Cheetah, get clear on your intentions, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. So, this is really similar to what I said about the attraction card up there. Uh, basically, having a clear intention on what it is you want will uh, really help you attract that. And, uh, you know, taking each uh, opportunity that comes your way is really important too. And try not to, you know, close yourself up whenever something happens. Try to remain open and flexible and go with the flow. And, uh, you know, have the perseverance. If things don't go right the first time, don't give up. You know, stay focused and keep, keep going, you know. So, yeah basically it. All right, manatee. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. So yeah, maybe we're feeling a little, uh, a little fearful, a little, uh, you know, scared sometimes, but accepting things as they are is the first step to opening and allowing things to come to you. And yeah, gratitude is a really great way to, you know, open yourself up to opportunity and being more receptive to what you already have received or, you know, just being grateful for the moment can open you up to the moment. So, you know, fighting against the flow isn't always the easiest way to go. And that rhymes. <laughs> So yeah, just being accepting of anything that comes your way really just opens you up to whatever opportunity there really is in that moment. So yeah, um, have a great week, you guys, and I will talk to you guys next week. <laughs>